Hello people kids, today I'm going to be talking about a Harry Potter theory on what if Quirrell got the stone from, for Voldemort and if Voldemort returned to power at the end of Philosopher's Stone or Sorcerer's Stone for my viewers in the US of A. Now obviously that cannot happen because Quirrell's intention from the stone are not your, and as Dumbledore said, only one who can find, who want to find the stone but not use it, will be able to find it. But let's just say that uh, Quirrell finds some means of getting the stone from the mirror via cheating methods, and Voldemort does return to power. What would happen? Or if Harry decided to give the stone to Voldemort, what would happen? Well, the second Wizarding War would happen three books, films early. Yeah, and um, Vol with the diary Hawks. If um, what Voldemort may Voldemort may put may give Quirrell the dark mark, but summon his Death Eaters and have a duel with Harry Potter, like in a Goblet of Fire. How he was, how he may fall unconscious. Dumbledore will visit him in the hospital wing, and uh, how he would tell everyone that Voldemort is at power. Fudge may disbelieve that, but who knows? But I feel that he won't be able to ha hold Dumbo just the defense against the Dark Hearts teacher. I feel that instead of that happening, that Quirrell will take up the post of defense against the Dark Hearts teacher and break him, which will go against the Voldemort's jinx on the position, but hey, who am I to argue? So Quirrell will stay on the defense against the Dark Hearts professor. And he'll only teach what he previously taught at, in the Philosopher's Stone year, theory. And the students may feel like they're only being taught minor things. Which would lead Harry to do Dumbledore's army. And maybe Quirrell would denounce Harry's lies as a means of garnering rather than attention for himself, just like Umbridge did. So. Of uh, f Fudge may be replaced by Scrimmage as previously in Half Blood Prince, and then eventually by some other person. I don't mean the bat. The final battle with Voldemort will happen um, four years than it previously did, four years earlier. With how we as the final combat, Voldemort, but how he will win, and Voldemort will eventually be got rid of. So that's how I think that situation could have gone. Yeah, so that would basically be it. Then, <coughs> <sighs> and with the diary Hawkworks, maybe Voldemort would instruct Lucius Malfoy to get to use it to urge the school of all mortal bones, and once it had done that. He, he might have Tom Riddle teach the Dark Hearts in the Chamber of Secrets. So Quirrell would teach 
theory defense against the dark ants in the normal in the um in either the template house room or the normal house room and Tom Winder will teach dark hearts in the um in the um in the chamber secrets so in the chamber secrets would be a classroom so yeah that's basically it for this day and I think the whole Tom Riddle thing the were happening when Rufus Hominger is mystery Mr. for magic or maybe in um a year later so yeah that's basically my theory, guys. What do you guys think happened if Voldemort returned to power in Philosopher's Stone? Let me know in the comment section. So yeah, bye.